All right, we are here at the Ionity fast charger in Rygge, and today I have the rock star Jan Hogan Ile with me. <laughs> yes. So anyway, can you introduce yourself? Some people don't know who you are. Yeah, uh, as Bjorn said, my name is Jan Hogan Ile. I'm head of Northern Europe in uh, Ionity, and I'm responsible for the rollout and operation of the high power charger of Ionity in the Nordic and the Baltics. Cool. So it's nice to have the boss here yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, background for this video is that uh, in the past there's been some people, including me, who had some trouble starting a charging session at these Ionity chargers. So uh, Jan, you have some tip about how to make it you know, better, right? Uh, for yeah. That's correct. There are some small issues that are good to know uh, that uh, will secure that the charging go smoothly. So I think I will tell you about those few tips and then uh, the charging experience will be much much better and much much easier so yeah. if we go first to the charging station here um, there are in practice two ways of uh, starting the charging session you can use the Ionity app on the phone or you can use an uh, RFID tag or token um, if you are using the Ionity app it's important to do all the steps on the app before you plug in. So you open the app, uh, if you haven't used it before, register, put in your credit card, and then you can choose the station where you are, or choose also the charger, the charger has a number here, and you can also scan the QR code. Um, and when you have chosen that, uh, you, you choose the uh, credit card, you put in the CVC code, you get the confirmation or the check from the bank, and then you can push the start button. And when you have done that, first then you connect. And the reason you should do it in, uh, in that way is that otherwise, uh, if you do it like a lot of customers do, does, they put the connector into the car and then start to open that. Then it takes some time and then you come into a timeout mode and then the charging session will not start and to get it to work again then, then it's, you have to put the connector back into the charger. So with the app, do everything on the app before you connect. But you can of course also use an RFID tag and I will show how you use the charging session with the RFID tag. You can either show it first, um, like I do now. This is a bit confusing because it says start there. Yes, yeah, it says the start. Uh, I can push it and I can connect the cable and when I'm connecting the cable to the car it's very very important to connect it completely in so push it in and in some cars you will hear a click and the reason is that you need to make sure that the communication between the car and the charger is working properly and now it says push start again and now it's checking the card that is valid and after that it does some security check and when the security check is done the charging will start and this takes some time it's totally normal so we just have to wait because when this is having this kind of structure yeah. and here it comes up and here you will see it's starting up uh, the, the charging speed is increasing and of course how fast uh, the, you can charge is depending on the car. The car has different charging speed and of course the, the driving before you connect to the station. So we recommend uh, at least uh, one hour of highway driving, maybe longer during winter time. Hmm. Yeah, and and it, it, it turns blue by the way. Yeah. yeah, it turns blue here, then it's charging and now you see this, all these numbers are increasing and, uh, and starting to work and also if something fails, if the charging stops very rapidly or it doesn't start up, uh, then you can see uh, a reservation uh, amount on your credit card. That will vanish after some, some uh, working days. So if the charging doesn't start properly, uh, so if it stops after a short period, then you don't have to pay. So don't worry, even if you see this amount on your credit card, it's only a reservation. It's not a payment. Hmm. Yeah, so that was that went pretty smooth, by the way, when you used the RFID. Uh, we get, well, okay, can we stop this now? 
Yes. Okay. Push the stop button. All right. Stop. And then yeah, it says uh, put the cable back. Okay. Let's put the put it back again. Yeah. Okay. That that one unlocked. So as long as you use RFID, then you can in fact follow uh, uh, okay. the instruction on the screen. Yes. Because uh, at the moment the instruction tells you to connect to the car and then do the payment. Uh, that creates problem, uh, so we will change that, but that oh. takes uh, some time. But at the moment then, if you're using an app, uh, do all the work on the app before you connect. That will really help and also connect properly. That also creates a problem. Hmm. Okay, but anyway, uh, that was a nice demonstration. And you know what, I think uh, what you showed here, if I knew about it, I would probably not have problems with the cold now when I tested it this winter. <laughs> Uh, I think it was several problems. We had a little bit of snow in the charge port, so I didn't push it all the way in. Yeah. And also, I took too long. I, I followed the instructions, and I was fiddling with the app and stuff, and then it timed out. So, uh, actually, when we came here, we already have two other customers who also had some problems, did they? Yeah, there was one customer when I come to the station that had, had the problem with the with the Ionity app that they plug it in and then do all the oh, work on that okay. and had the timeout. So when I just uh, tell them to plug it in, start it all over again or plug the, 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 the connector back to the charger and then do the work on the app and then plug, then it worked properly. Wow, that's great. All right, uh, so anyway, I hope this video was useful to you. Uh, it was in fact useful for me. So. Um, I think uh, that's it for now. Uh, maybe if you guys have more questions to Ionity, you can ask and maybe we can have a little uh, Q&A session. Yeah, feel free. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for the, the video. Thank you. Yeah, all right. That's it for now then. Yes. Talk to you later.